Hey guys, so in this video, I just wanted to share with you guys a word of encouragement um, to any of you who are pursuing something that you're passionate about and maybe you are scared to do that. Maybe you're scared of failure. And I just want to say, don't be afraid of failure. In fact, I would say you should maybe expect failure and embrace failure. Um, the truth is, failure is not really that bad of a thing. It's, it's almost a good thing. Um, because when you fail, every time you fail at something, um, first off, what that means is that you actually tried. And if you're willing to try again after that failure, you can learn so much from those mistakes that you made. You can look at what you did, and when you try again, you can say, okay, well, now I know better. I know not to do this. I know what adjustments I need to make. And um, you might have better success on your next attempt, or the next attempt, or the next or the next. I would argue that true failure is not trying at all. True failure is when you allow fear to cripple you and you say, Ugh, you know, I want to do this, but I'm scared of what people will think or um, I just don't think I'm good enough. Um, I'm not ready to do this. I'm still practicing. I'm still learning. Um, nope. That, that, that's what holds you back. Failure, if you learn to embrace failure, it's actually um, a stepping stone towards progress. Let me give you an example here. So on YouTube, there's a channel called Corridor Digital. Um, some of you might be familiar with them. They're a filmmaking channel, and they're VFX artists who talk all about like um, what kind of goes into making movies and, and the special effects and things like that. And uh, it's a really cool channel. I love watching the things they make and, and gaining knowledge from them and stuff. But they've put out a few videos lately that have really stuck out to me. A while back, they put out a video called The Best Deep Fake on the Internet. Now, in case you don't know, a deep fake is some kind of technology where you can take someone's face and digitally put it on someone else's body. And um, depending how you do it, it can be pretty convincing and stuff. And so they brought in a Tom Cruise impersonator who sounded very much like Tom Cruise, and he even looked kind of like him, like him. And they used him as sort of the canvas, and they, they did a deep fake. And it was a very good deep fake, but I think by claiming the best deep fake on the internet or the best deep fake ever, um, it might have come a little short of that. There were some noticeable things that were like, you could just tell it wasn't totally real. And, um, and for the most part, you know, the video did well, but I do think because of that, there was maybe a little bit of criticism or some dislike on the video. But you know what? Later, they did another deep fake video with Keanu Reeves. Um, and it was like this video of Keanu Reeves going into uh, like a, you know, gas station department store or something. And, um, and he rescues it from a robbery. And it was a much more convincing deep fake. And so it's interesting that uh, a group of that caliber, you know, they've got like millions of subscribers. Um, they tried something and they didn't quite achieve what they were hoping to, you know, um, they didn't quite succeed. And yet they took that, they took what they learned from that and applied it to this next video and did an even better job and surpassed what they were trying to do in the first place. And that's not the only example. Um, it happened again with another video where, um, uh, they were doing visual effects. They, it was a John Wick movie and they were sort of criticizing some of the um, digital effects that were done for the um, muzzle flashes when the guns are shooting and stuff. And so they re-edited the scene. Um, and to be honest, the changes they made were very subtle. They weren't super noticeable and stuff. And here's why I'm bringing up these uh, failures. This is a big group. This is a, a team that I would say is successful in what they're doing. You know, they are making a living, you know, doing videos and, and doing movie making and stuff. But this isn't just like, oh, we're, you know, we've got all these followers. It doesn't matter if we mess up. This is a mentality that I guarantee you that they've had ever since they started filmmaking, you know. And they've talked before. They've talked about, like, their older projects. And if you look back, you know, some of them are pretty uh, cringy or the effects are very, like, um, you know, just very, very sketchy, not, not very well done, not very well polished. But they did it anyway. And they put it out there and they learned and they grew and they got better. And that's the thing about failure, is if you can embrace failure, it can teach you. And by having the willingness to fail, that's what's going to help you um, overcome the obstacles. That's what's going to shape you and teach you and help you grow and learn and get you to that status where you are really good at what you do. Not because, um, not because you've just always naturally had that talent or anything, but because you work towards it and because you were willing to face the failures to get to that status. Another example is um, skateboarding, the art of skateboarding. I love skateboarding, and 
If you're going to get into skateboarding, I'll tell you right now, half of skateboarding is just falling down and messing up. If you want to be a skateboarder, you better get real comfortable with falling down because it's going to happen a lot. Um, if you watch skaters, you know, when they're learning tricks, they'll you know, try on your first kickflip or something. Um, you're probably not going to land it first try. And if you just try it first try and you say, ah, oh, I didn't get it, you know, I'm, I'm going to give up. You know, I, I want to do something easier. It's like you're never really going to make much progress with that kind of mindset. But if you try it and then you say, okay, that didn't work. Let me, let me try again. Let me change my posture or let me change my foot placement or let me try this or that. You know, you start making little adjustments. Eventually you will land that kickflip and it's so satisfying. But here's the thing. It might take you 20 tries to land that kickflip. Then the next day you try it and it only takes you like 10 tries. And then the next day you try it and it only takes you five. And then the next day you get first try and then you can just do it from now on. And that's happened before. You know, I've spent like forever working on a trick and then the next day I'll try it and I'll get it first try. And that's what you have to realize is all those failures, they weren't failures. They were stepping stones to learning how to do something. And once you achieve that, it might take some practice to really get it down, but eventually you can do it over and over again. But you're never going to get it first try without going through all those failures to begin with. So I hope that makes sense. But I just really want to encourage you guys, um, you know, don't be afraid to put your stuff out there. Stop trying to be perfect. You know, if you've got a song, if you've got a video and like um, it's good enough for people to perceive it for what it is, like just put it out there and just learn from it and grow, do better on the next one. Stop trying to be perfect. Um, stop trying to have this super polished product. And I know it can be hard like looking at your favorite YouTube channels and just seeing like how high quality their videos are and just thinking, oh man, this Mine looks so amateur compared to that, but it doesn't matter. You know, a lot of people, honestly, they see past that and they'll see like the content for what it is. And even if they don't see it right off the bat, if you just keep doing it, eventually they will notice and eventually they'll see that you're getting better and that you're growing. And so you can do it. You can do it, guys. So please don't be afraid of failure. Embrace it. Anyway, I hope you found that helpful. Until next time.